Hey guys, this is Pokemon Storm Silver, video number 77. In the last video, we teamed up with Stupid and battled uh, Claire and Lance in Dragon's Den. And Lance's Pokemon were, like, scary strong. Like, he had a freaking level 88 Dragonite. And I was like, what? So, that was pretty freaking scary. So... Before I take on the Elite Four again, I am going to have to do some uh, off-screen training. But here we are in Saffron City. What I'm going to start in this video are the rematches. And I'm going to start off with the Gym Leader rematches. And in this video, we're going to rematch Faulkner, Brock, Misty, and Bugsy. So we'll just get going with that here. Heal the Pokemon, of course. Run up here to Saffron, or we, we are in Saffron City. Run up here to the Fighting Dojo. Okay, so here we are. Now, up at the top, there's Nurse Joy and some other person who's like, Oh, do you want to take the International Trainer Challenge thingy? So Nurse Joy is up there, so you can like just go to her to heal your Pokemon between the battles. You don't have to run back and forth to the Pokemon Center. Um, I didn't actually realize that she was up there until like I had already run back and forth several times. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, Brock is first. Uh, we're challenged by Leader Brock, and he sends out Rampardos, level 69. So I will send in Jericho, level 71. Uh, Rampardos uses Head Smash, which I don't think will be very effective, and it isn't. He's hit with Recoil. Jericho's going to use Earthquake. Earthquake! It is going, going, yeah. Super effective. Rampardo's fainted. Jericho gained all that experience. Now Brock is about to send him Omastar. Leader Brock sent out Omastar. I'm going to stick with Jericho even though this thing probably has Ice Beam. Because it, it had Ice Beam the last time I battled it. And it does have Ice Beam. What do you know? What do you know? It has Ice Beam. It's super effective. Jericho fainted. Great. Alrighty. Um... I guess I'll go into Spike, maybe, perhaps? Or Robotnik. Yes, Robotnik. Robotnik can be like Hammer Arm, and Omastar can be like... Dead, knocked out, fainted, whatever you want to say. Omastar can use Hydro Pump, which will be neutral, but it should still do some pretty decent damage to Robotnik, just because it, it will. Robotnik, yeah. Uh, Brock heals the Amistar, and we go for another Hammer Arm, which... Okay, gets it down to the yellow. So another Hammer Arm, and that should be it for Open Star. But Hydro Pump... And oh! Okay. Alrighty then. Meteor Mash is neutral, and that is a... Fainted Amistar. Next is Steelix. Robotnik has 6 HP left. I'll send him Vesuvius to take on the Steelix. What will Vesuvius do? Vesuvius used Flamethrower on the Steelix. Hopefully that might be a one-hit KO. That'd be awesome. And it is super effective. Next is Kabutops. Another rock slash water type, just like on the star. So we'll get Vesuvius out of there, send in Spike. Hopefully Spike can maybe one-hit KO this thing. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Spike. Good job, Spike. Next Brock is going to send out Probo Pass, which is uh, um, rock. Rock slash steel. So... I think Mick should be able to do well against that one. Bubble Pass, what will Mick do? Mick will use Surf. Magnet Rise, that means he levitates now, so ground type moves won't hit him, but that's okay because I just keep using water type moves. Alright, next is Pseudo Wudo, and I think this is, yeah, it's his last one, because he says, Ooh, it itches, it itches. 
So Mick will use Surf. Will that be a one-hit KO? Probably not. No. Wood Hammer. Super effective. I guess Mick has that, um, or not Mick, uh, Pseudo Wudo has that ability whose name escapes me that it lets you, like, when you use a, a move with recoil, you don't get hurt by it. I guess that's the... It's like Iron Head or something. Anyway, super effective. Pseudo Wudo fainted. Defeated Brock. Alright. No, I'm not Brock. Silly Brock. Now, I probably should have mentioned this before I'm going to heal. Like I said, I, I told I didn't realize that Nurse Joy was up there until I like got a few battles into this thing. Um, I should have said before, um, when I battled when I battled the gym leaders, um, originally they gave me their phone number so I didn't have to go all over the place trying to find them. Um before they all show up here, you have to call them on like the the date and time that they give you. So you can call the gym leaders, and if if it's not the right time, they'll tell you, "Oh, I'm free on you know Wednesday evenings." And then, so if you call them back on Wednesday evening, they'll say, "Oh, do you want to have a rematch?" And you say yes, and they'll say, "Okay, meet me at the you know fighting dojo in Saffron City," and you can meet them there. So what I did is I just called them all. Um, I kept resetting and my uh, computer clock so that I wouldn't have to like wait you know for the certain time of day and uh, yeah just called them all got them all over here so that I can uh, just you know battle them one right after the other anyway that was Brock now we're taking on Faulkner and he sends out a Fero also there's a, a, a page on um, Cerebi net that you can go on just just go on Cerebi and search gym leaders and there should be a page there that tells you like when they show up again. But like I said, you can just call them with the uh, Pokey Gear, and they'll tell you, "Oh, call me back on this day, because that's when I'll be free." So like, okay. Anyway, I don't think this Faulkner battle should be too uh, difficult. I'm pretty sure Spike can outspeed most, if not all, of his bird Pokemon, and it's, you know Spike has great special attack, so he should be able to uh, do pretty well. Oh yes, Swallow, Swallow, Swallow. Swallow is a fast one. Can't outspeed Swallow. But we can knock out the Pidgey out in one hit. Or Pidgeot, however you say it. Alright, I think I see what he's trying to do here. He's just gonna... Oh, okay, he's Protect. That's interesting. That's not gonna work. I wonder if he's gonna... Oh, he's... Oh, no. Facade. That's gonna knock out Spike. Oh, yes. F facade? I think it's Facade. Not Fakehade. I think it's I think it's Facade is how you say it. But that's uh, an attack that... Um, it, it doubles if the uh, Pokemon has a status problem, like Swellow here is burned. So Facade is doing a, uh, like, double the the damage that it would normally do. That's why Swellow is holding the Flame Orb. But anyway, we'll just send in Robotnik to use Ice Punch, and that will knock out the Swellow pretty easily. So good job, Robotnik. Next, he's going to send out Pelipper, um, Water slash Flying, one of my favorite Pokemon to use, and... Pokemon Emerald when I'm playing that game. Um, let's see. Guess I'll just send in Andromeda. I mean, Spike would be the best one to take on this Pelipper, but Spike is knocked out right now, so he's not going to be much use. Got Andromeda to use Nasty Plot. Pelipper's gonna use Hydro Pump. Shadow Ball. Maybe that I'll get lucky and that'll knock out Pelipper. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Andromeda's at level 71. Good job, Andromeda. 
took two hydro pumps and knocked out the pulper in one hit after the nasty plot, but still, not bad. Not bad, I say. Andromeda, switch out. Come back. Go, Robotnik. Leader Faulkner is going to send in Noctowl now. My namesake. Or the namesake for this channel, at least. Uh, Ice Punch. I'm surprised Robotnik outsped Noctowl. But that's a one-hit KO. Super effective. Okay. So, that's two down. Fourteen to go. Okay, ran out and healed my Pokemon, and even though Nurse Joy's right up there, just because I'm, I'm just being dumb, I guess. Next, we'll uh, fight Bugsy. Lovely to see you again, my friend. Do 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 do. Bugsy starts off with Yan Mega, and Vesuvius will start off with Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Alright, next will be Masquerain, the uh, bug slash water type. I'll uh, stick with Vesuvius in there and have him use, or have her use, uh, fly. Masquerain uses Hydro Pump and misses. Vesuvius uses fly. Hopefully that'll be a one hit KO because I really don't want to get hit by a Hydro Pump. Cool. I don't think Hydro Pump will knock out Vesuvius, but it'll do a lot of damage and. I, I don't want Vesuvius to, to take a lot of damage, you know. Next she sends in, uh, or he sends in, uh, the Heracross. It's female Heracross, so I can't call it Boris. Uh, it's super effective. Vesuvius, oh wow, Outrage. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have Vesuvius learn Outrage, because Vesuvius already knows Dragon Pulse, I think, and Vesuvius is more of a special attacker anyway, so, um, even though I have her with Fly, Vesuvius' special attack stat is better than its physical attack stat. Um, next he sends in Scizor, so, you know, Flamethrower, I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. Steel and Bug, Flamethrower is really freaking effective. Uh, next is Pinzer, so yeah, I'll just yeah. I mean, we'll just see if Vesuvius can sweep this team because uh, so far Vesuvius is doing great, and uh, Vesuvius hasn't taken any damage. So this Pinzer might have something to say about that, though, or not. You know, whatever. Uh, Pinzer fainted. Vesuvius gained more experience. Next is Vespiquen. All right, I got to make sure I knock out this thing quick because if not, it'll be like ooh, defend order, and it'll like completely like become resistant to my super effective attacks. Would you look at that? Would you would you just look at it guys? I mean that's would you just look at it? That's awesome. Good job, Vesuvius. You didn't take any damage. You just one hit KO'd his entire team. That's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I don't even have to go heal. I can just like switch out, put Spike up front, give him the lucky egg. And we'll go fight Misty now. Okay then. Not you. Um, we'll save the game, of course. Okay. Now is Misty. Okay, challenged by Misty, and she sends out Politoed, which I think has Drizzle. Yeah. Yeah, Politoed's Drizzle made it rain. We're gonna make it rain. And Spike used Thunder. Now that it's raining, Thunder will has like a 100% accuracy. So, that, that actually... You know, I know that's meant to like power up her water type moves, but that actually hurts her, because now I can use a stronger attack, knowing it'll hit. But looks like she's got a plan for that. She's going to send in a Quagsire, and Spike can't hit Quagsire because Quagsire is part ground. So I'll send in Jericho, and maybe Jericho can be like, ooh, Woodhammer, and the Quagsire can go by the wayside. What? Oh, Rindoberry. I see what you did there. 
but it's still super effective even with the Rindle Berry, so Jericho's hit with Recoil and the Quagsire Phoenix. Nice. Next is Milotic. I will go back into Spike to take on the Milotic. Go, Spike! And, ah, Spike, he says. And there's Milotic. Oh, Milotic! She says. So, Spike used Thunder. I wonder if that'll actually knock out the Milotic. I don't think it did in the gym battle. No, almost did, but not quite. Milotic's gonna use Surf, powered up Surf because of the rain, uh, but Spike can still take it. Let's see. Misty's gonna use a full restore on the Milotic, but Spike is still faster than the Milotic, so I think I should get uh, two moves in a row here. So first is the Thunderbolt, and then, yeah, another Thunderbolt should be enough to finish it off. My Lotic is a Pokemon that I've never used before in an LP, and I, I really want to, but I never have. I mean, shoot. I mean, Vault White 2 is probably the, my, my perfect like opportunity to do it, because it's it's easy to evolve Feebas into my Lotic in Gen 5, but in Gen 4 and 3, it's like, it's a, it's a pain to evolve Feebas. And I don't know what my like next LP is going to be after I finish all of these, but it's not going to be a Gen 5 LP, I'll tell you that right now. Because I've done two Gen 5 games, I've done two, well, actually three Gen 4 games, so it'll probably be, be a Gen 3 or lower, unless I just find one that's like, ooh, wow, look, check this out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of have one in mind. I've had it, I've had it in mind for a while now. But I wanna, I wanna finish at least two of the three I'm doing right now before I start that one. And like I've mentioned, um, at the rate I'm going with Volt White Two, I might actually finish that one before I finish Bloody Platinum, which should be fine. There's no rule that says I have to finish Bloody Platinum first just because I started it first. Anyway, that Lantern uses Ice Beam on Jericho, and that's super effective, so down goes Jericho. For those of you who uh, aren't watching my Bloody Platinum LP, I'm actually using a Lantern in that LP. Um, I call him Bzzzt. That's his nickname. Bzzzt. It's pretty awesome, if you ask me. It's one of my favorite nicknames ever. One of my other favorite nicknames ever is my uh, Electabuzz in uh, my Volt Fight 2 LP, Von Scott. Robotnik is paralyzed, can't move. Is his lantern going to knock out Robotnik? You have got to be joking with me. Full Restore. Lantern uses Surf. Let's okay, still in the green. It's okay, guys. Robotnik is still in the green, and Robotnik's going to use Zen Headbutt on the Lantern. Might get paralyzed, but that's okay, because I don't, I don't see me going back into Robotnik in this battle. I mean, it doesn't get par- Oh, well, of course I'm not going to go back into Robotnik. This is the last battle. Anyway, so I guess we'll, we'll start up the next battles in the next video.